there a Zeke in here or a s Oh, yeah, there it sure is. That looks like a biker, too. Looks like a biker because it is a biker. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is Alpha 19 uh, Stable. And let's see, it is uh, the morning of day four, and um, I went, ended up going back to our first quest location way over here and got the rest of the stuff out of the drop chest that I left there and then uh, killed several zombies uh, on the way back using our little platform. And then uh, when I got home at night, uh, I put all my stuff away. I built some chests here. So this is basically raw resources. This is parts. This is uh, clothing and armor. This is tools and weapons. This is trader stuff. We've got uh, first aid in there, prepared food in there, and raw food in here. Speaking of which, we had a dire wolf, of all things, come in last night up on the porch, so I killed him with my blunderbusses, and I upgraded this to cobble because he was doing some pretty fast damage to the wood that I had there. And um, so, yeah, we got some more wood, and I got four more eggs, and we need to eat anyway, so I'm actually quite hungry. So let's get those going. Uh, we do have some bacon and eggs up here, so we'll put those in our inventory. We'll put the rest of that stuff in there. We'll put the uh, the raw resources in those uh, that that spot, those spots, that spots. And what I want to do is I want to I want to actually make a pick. Um, so we can get, we're gonna need 30 forged iron, and I've got how many in here? Nine. Okay, so. Let's see. We're going to take some stuff to the forge, except for we have to wait. We actually have to wait another hour before we can do that. So, um, and I, don't, I need to get some iron. Maybe what we'll have to do is just go, my, you know, mine a little bit of that iron out there. The, the tricky part about that, though, is I've got a wolf out there. I'm going to take some more clay with me, too. We'll leave a little bit here. Uh, so we can make more cobble later on if we need to. Speaking of which, let's just grab the rest of that cobble and just keep it with us. Um, I took apart the washing machine down below because I started a mine. So that's where those parts came from. Let's put these in there. And we've got five bacon and eggs. But we are down quite low on our food. So I made some red tea, as you can see. So let's take one of those, too. We're probably going to have to pop another bacon and eggs to get everything all the way back. Um, oh, I guess we have sham too. Well, you know what? Let's hang on to that for now. Um, eventually, we'll probably come across the sham chowder recipe, and so I like to kind of hang on to sham when I find it. So there's a little bit of iron um, just right over here in these little nodes, but we've got that wolf that is making me a little bit nervous. Um, let's put this here. So anyway, um, the main goal for today, though, is to go do our Tier 1 clear, which is just a little ways up that way. It's not quite as far uh, as this quest was. So let's go ahead and see where that wolf is. Okay, um, I think he's off that way somewhere. So let's just be ready to go with the blunderbusses. What I'm uh, attempting to do, though, is um, I'm digging a little mine right under here. Oh, there's my ladder going down and I'm gonna have it come straight out here till we hit the trader boundary and then we'll head north and that'll put us almost right into the uh, patch over here and where's that wolf freaking making me nervous huh. not seeing him 
He's probably going to sneak up on us when we least expect it. So let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and just tag a little bit of this iron that's on the surface. Um, I found some uh, some nitrate too, just right over here. So we can start making some more blunderbuss ammo. But I want to get I want to get the pick first because mining with a stone axe just sucks. That's all there is to it. There's no two ways about it, man. No two ways about it. Okay, well, you know what we could do is let's put down, <coughs> excuse me, let's put down our little platform here. And actually, I'm just going to keep both of them wood, and if something comes along, we'll um, quickly get it upgraded. How much wood do I have? Oh yeah, we got plenty of wood. So, yeah, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to mine up this iron here. Um, I might hit one of these coal rocks as well. Oh, there's the wolf over there. Yeah, he's just right, right in front of our house. Okay, I think he's far enough away to where we don't need to worry about him, at least right here. And then uh, when the trader opens, which is right now. <laughs> yeah, the time went by that really fast. Okay. Well, I'm just going to mine this then this rock just so we have enough iron uh, so that I can make a pick that way tonight I can continue working on the mine with an actual pick rather than a stone axe okay I think let me grab this other one too so we got a zeker there might as well get this upgraded Let's kill this Zeke, and then I'm going to hit that iron right there, and then we're going to go to the trader and get stuff smelting so that we can make our iron pick. Come here, Bo. All right, let's get this in here and that in there, and we're going to add a little more wood to here, too. We'll smelt this later. Brass is not a priority right now. So just wait for that to be done, and then we'll put the clay in. Oh, the trainer inventory has reset, too, so we're going to check his inventory. All right, so let's let that smelt. You smell of the dead. All right, what do you got in Secret Stash? Shotgun Messiah. Iron Crossbow. Hmm. 28 range, 62 velocity. 28.50. We can upgrade to a crossbow. Ranger's Guide to Archery. Yeah, those are a little bit expensive for us right at the moment. Okay, let's just check the main stash here. It's too bad we missed out on that pump shotgun, but there was just no way I was going <laughs> to... Chainsaw schematic. I was going to raise that much money in the time we had. There's a 44. It's half the price of the shoddy. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Ammo would be kind of... Ex 244s. Goodness. They must have changed something with the game because I thought we weren't supposed to have stuff like this available to us like a 44 until Tier 2. Or at least Tier 1. Ooh, look at that. That's 26 and 54. Okay, that's not that big of a difference, and the crossbow is still more powerful. These are both the same, and and it's cheaper too. Um. Okay, well, let's keep those in mind. I mean, we've got three days before we, you know, he resets. Iron sledgehammer wouldn't be bad either. Thirty-one seventy versus twenty-six forty-eight. But man, this has got four slots on it. And it doesn't use as much stamina as this does either. That uses 36. This uses 22. Okay, well, we'll keep the crossbows in mind for sure. Maybe the iron sledgehammer. I mean, we can certainly afford it. But um, I wouldn't mind the gravedigger mod either for our oh, shovel. Was there something else? 
But um, let's go ahead and just have this start working on ingots. But we have to wait for it to smelt more iron too. So I guess while we're waiting for that, how's our food? Yeah, we need to eat another one of these. Um, let's go drop this off at home and then head on out and do our quest. He's got some, a little bit of food we could buy, but we'll worry about that later because I don't have any money on me. That does 28 range damage. These do 38. Yeah. You know what? That crossbow is so much more powerful than the, than the bow is. I think we should go buy that crossbow. So it was, um... It was 300 and some odd, plus we could buy those two cans of food that he has. Let's grab these and these. And leave the rest of that in there. Mm, are you a customer? I'm a customer. So these are both the same, right? No difference between them? Yeah, so let's buy that. Should we buy this too? No, I, don't, I think I'm going to hold off on that. Because this is a purple and it's got four slots, we might come across some, some decent mods for that. So let's just let's just That's wait. That's right. Do the math. Um, all right. So I want to make some more arrowheads. How much do we need again? We need 30 in total. I think, didn't I have like 13 back at the base? make nine more um I think so let's just make if I ha if we have 13 we only need two more ingots um but I'm not positive about that so let's just make maybe five more ingots and then we'll make a few more arrowheads oh and you know what else we could do too we could actually melt these down okay let's make a few more arrowheads uh, and then We'll make a bunch of crossbow bolts. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you believe that? We only had nine. Why did I think we had 13? Crap. Okay. Um, We need three duct tape, two leather, and let's just melt down these springs. I mean, they're, they're not that hard to come by. We just need one more ingot. That damn wolf is still out there. So let's get these going. Oh, we need three leather too. Okay. There's a couple more things in the house we could take apart to get some more iron. Uh... Okay, let's put the chair in and we'll put that in. We just need one more ingot. Okay, that's enough. We'll hang on to the pipes then, since we have enough. Now we can make our pick. Okay, cool. That'll come in handy for mining tonight. We got ourselves a point. So let's see. You know what I might do with that point? I might actually put that into a Terran Adventurer. So we get an extra reward option. Because that's <clears throat> that's going to be really useful in the very early game. And then we might... Let's see. I still want to do... Edgar over there. I don't want to take him on head to head right now. Um, oh, we already did mother load. Okay, good. So we got the, the first points in mining. Oh man, I was going to do sexy tea. We'll probably do that next. And then we'll probably start fast tracking intellect so we can get to, um, advanced engineering two for the workbench and grease monkey two for the mini bike.
that's kind of the general plan right at the moment uh, with our points. All right, where did Edgar go? Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, let's let's um let's see if we can avoid him for now. So seeker up that way. It's a bow. Oh, we come to the burned biome. Eee, yuck. I don't like the burn biome because you can't see. It's all smoky. And there's dogs. And vultures. So yeah, not a very friendly place. Looks like we're going in there too. Okay, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. Um, and we could... Maybe could try and double loot it also. Ooh, there's a workbench. I wonder what the chances of that thing were actually working are. So, um, let's see. How do we want to play this? There's usually a zombo in this little shed. zombie how much we only have 31 blunderbuss rounds left Ooh, the workbench works oh ow okay it's kind of far away from the home from home but if we plan things in advance oh you know what though darn the problem now is once we restart the quest this could turn to a non-working workbench Crap, I forgot about that. Well, all right, let's um let's get back out here. We'll set up a little platform thing in my doodle here. You know what? I should have brought my dog on um uh Who's my was it? It's pipe bombs with me. Those want to come in handy over here. Um, well, okay. The thing is, is that this workbench we might lose it anyway so we might as well s scrap it now so because we'll get some um we will get some oh what the hell is it called ingots we'll get some iron ingots from it and then maybe we'll luck out and it'll spawn back in and still be working i'm not going to count on that but anything's possible okay so we got a total of 10 ingots out of that that's not too bad Let's see what's in the working stiffs here. Oh man, you know what? Did I... I did. Crap, I left my lucky looters back at the base. Those will probably just end up selling. <clears throat> Is this any better than what we got? Nope, but it does have more durability, so we'll scrap that one. Okay, well, let's see. Is there a Zeke in here or... Oh, yeah, there sure is. That looks like a biker, too. Looks like a biker because it is a biker. <laughs> Now, let's see if there is... Sometimes there's stuff behind these uh, hay bales. Case in point. Get some pears. Okay. 
Nice. We probably can't put that on... Oh, we can put that on a blunderbuss. Nice. Okay. Good, but we can. Oh, shit. Can he not get out of there? Oh, no. Here he comes. Remember to put our thing down this time. Uh, what do we got here? A semi mod schematic, okay. One piece of wood. I think there's a sleeper over this way in the in the corn patch. Yeah, big mama. this repaired so none of that corn is any good but there is a purse down here there's nothing in it yay pop one of these we're hurt hurt pretty good did we loot this yeah okay let's go in here there's a couple things of loot in here and some other stuff that we can get what's this do spinning with a 44 gun drawn in combat uses 20 percent less stamina yikes i don't want to Stand in the middle of the floor there. I'm not going to take that. Uh, we'll take this. We'll take both of these things. Food action. Toilet pistol. No toilet pistol. Okay, we need to go up this way. Got some food down here. Is that better than what we have? Nope, it's the same and about the same durability. So we'll just scrap that. Probably the same thing with this too, right? We'll scrap that. And that. 
All right. So there's just one more place to go where the actual fat loots are. Let's go back. Oh, we need to go in here too. A little bit better shovel. Nothing there. Let's just leave that there for the moment. Scrap this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out here. Make sure we're beyond the edge of the POI. We're going to put the drop crate, or drop chest rather down. Okay. Let's go see if we can get to the fat loots. So we got Ronnie McDonnie here. Pick that up. Is he going to be able to jump over there? Guess we're going to find out, huh? He's trying to. Come on, stand up, dude. <laughs> He's tried to jump up there. There we go. Ooh, Edgar. We don't want Edgar jumping up there. Probably better double up on this with Edgar around. <laughs> Down into the water. <laughs> Come on, Edgar. on stamina there we go okay there might be zeke's in the other rooms but i'm not sure so we'll just block them before we go get our fat loots Anything down there, is there? No. All right, let's see what we got. Fort bites. Okay. Um, all right. We're going to scrap that and this. No, not repair. Scrap. Um, we might hang on to that spear momentarily. Okay. Got a few pipe bombs this time. Uh, we're not wearing anything uh, uh, armor-wise, so yeah, let's put that on. Is that going to do noise for us, though? Nope. Perfect. Okay, good. And we got a tripod mod. We're just going to scrap those. And uh, I think I'm just going to scrap that, too, because we can always make another one plant fiber hat if we ever need to. Okay. All 
All right, guys. Well, we're going to have to do what we did last time. And that is... We're going to have to end the episode here, and then we'll start up the next episode, and we'll redo this POI all over again, but this time do, do the quest. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.